Day 37 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day number 55 in the Eastern Pacific and we can only have quite a few systems active. Um, obviously first of all Hurricane Eric, that's the main system at the moment near the Mexican coastline. Tropical Depression Delilah still hanging on at the moment, expected to turn post tropical very soon. And we have um, three invests elsewhere, two in the Atlantic, um, one in the Central Atlantic um, and an invest in the um, in the uh, Open Pacific at the moment, 92W. Uh, there it is in the on the left hand side of the screen there. And Delilah and Eric still going in the Eastern Pacific. Um, Eric, the larger of the systems, and obviously uh, the more dangerous as well. Category 1 hurricane at the moment with 80 mile per hour winds. More on that very shortly. Um, but that's the situation in the Pacific so far. 92W may form in the next few days as well. Looking at the Atlantic Ocean, you can see here 94L down to 10%. Um, in the Gulf of Mexico as it moves slowly towards the uh, west, perhaps west-northwest, and Invest 95L, which is now up to 30% um, as of the upload time as it moves towards the west, and at least one model is developing that at the moment. The Indian Ocean still remaining quiet, um, as expected around this time of year. There are two gen general peaks, um, one early on in the year and a second one late on in the year, and we're sort of in the middle at the moment where we don't have much activity in the Indian Ocean, but there may be the odd storm that does form around this time of year. We might want to keep our eyes out there. Looking at the sea surface temperatures then, um, off the Mexican coast where Eric is right now, water is still favourable for um, development, though it won't be for long. The Gulf of Mexico is still red hot waters, especially towards the west and north uh, side of the Gulf of Mexico, um, and in the western Pacific as well. A large swathe of warm water near where the um, current Invest 92W is, and the path ahead of it is still very warm as well. So here's a Hurricane Eric then, uh, currently at winds of 80 miles per hour near the Mexican coastline, too close for comfort one might say, uh, currently with pressure of 984 millibars, positions 18.3 north, 105.4 west, um, and is likely reaching its peak intensity at 80 miles per hour, maybe 85 or 90 if it decides to strengthen a little bit um, before it, the time's up for any de developments as it goes over colder waters and starts to weaken. Hurricane Watch currently in effect from Punta Town, Telmo to Cabo Corrientes, Mexico, tropical Storm warning in effect from Zero Antonio to Cabo Corrientes in Mexico as well. Tropical storm watch in effect for the southern um, Baja California Peninsula as well at the moment. That may turn into warnings as the storm moves towards the northwest. Um, we also have Invest 92 here in the western Pacific um, near the uh, northern Mariano Islands at the moment moving towards the west um, and could develop into a tropical storm over the next few days perhaps. One of the uh, models is currently uh, hinting at that possibly occurring. Moving generally westward bound, perhaps west-northwest eventually, and could pose a threat to Taiwan or one of the uh, Rikyu Islands in Japan over the next few days. We'll keep eyes out on that one. Uh, Hurricane Eric then looking at the latest satellite imagery. You can see quite luckily that most of the um, worst of the weather, most cloud cover in any case, is off to the left-hand side of the storm, but there is still some um, some clouds moving into into Mexico causing some uh, heavy rains and indeed get some flooding concerns possibly in Mexico along with the gusty winds perhaps gusting to um, a category 2 strength perhaps with a hurricane force winds just off just off the shoreline. Um, and here's the uh, Central Atlantic. You can see Invest 95L at the very bottom there, uh, moving towards the west. And we'll keep eyes out on that one as well, because um, one of the models is predicting development, maybe even two models actually, um, as it moves towards the west. And here are the models now, the CMC model. You can see the uh, storms in the uh, Pacific not lasting long. And you can see at the end there in the Atlantic, two storms developing in the Atlantic, one forming in the Gulf of Mexico and making landfall in Louisiana, and another one forming near Cuba being a significant storm moving into Florida which is very interesting to see if that one plays out but it may not at this stage because it's still fairly far out. The ECMWF doesn't show much happening at the moment um, looking at um, Eric dissipating rather quickly as it passes the Bay of California Peninsula. Um, the GFS model um, doesn't really show much to be quite honest um, in terms of the Eastern Pacific Eric dissipating rather quickly there in the Atlantic not much going on except for perhaps a little bit of a wave forming at the end of that loop there uh, the NavGem model fairly similar as well not much going on in terms of tropical development Eric dissipating very quickly off the Bayou California Peninsula um, and no further storms uh, coming up after that but these two models the GFDL um, has possibly a tropical depression moving through the um, lesser and greater Antilles uh, at least tropical depression winds it might just be an open wave as it moves through there but most more interestingly the HWRF model predicts a tropical storm and indeed a hurricane after it moves past Puerto Rico making landfall on Guadalupe as a tropical storm and Puerto Rico as a strong tropical storm before moving past the Bahamas as a possible hurricane that's very interesting to see looking at the overall predictor season scores then July the 
6. Um, in a, a top, Ken with 91 points, Typhoon Vopa with 83, and Hurricane Melissa 20 with 81 points. That's the current standings, the top three at the moment. Uh, you can submit your own prediction, it's still not too late at this stage, or indeed at any stage, but the points do go down as time goes on, so I get your prediction in as soon as you can. Uh, obviously, the more points up for grabs is because the more skill required. Um, at this early stage of the season. You can do that on the website, forcetoteam.com forward slash interactive. Just click the 2013 predictor season button and it should be fairly straightforward from there. So what happened on this day then, July the 7th, 1971, Tropical Storm Arlene turned post-tropical in the Atlantic. In 1977, Hurricane Claudia dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 1982, Tropical Storm Daniel pictured just there formed in the Eastern Pacific, and in 1984, Tropical Storm Genevieve, also pictured there, formed in the Eastern Pacific. A lot of storms forming in the Pacific on this day, as a matter of fact. More coming up now. 1985, Tropical Storm Grillamo formed in the Eastern Pacific, also pictured there, uh, near the Bay of California Peninsula. In 1986, Tropical Storm Darby dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. In 87, Tropical Storm Beatrice also dissipated in the Eastern Pacific. And in 1993, Hurricane Calvin made landfall in Mexico as a Category 2 storm, causing 34 fatalities and 37 million dollars of damage in Mexico. There you can see it just before landfall on that picture. Um, in 1995, Barbara formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 98, Tropical Storm Nicole formed in the Western Pacific. In 2001, Tropical Storm Trami formed in the Western Pacific as well. Nakri forming the very next year. In 2011, Tropical Storm Calvin formed in the Eastern Pacific. And in 2012, last year, Tropical Storm Amelia formed in the Eastern Pacific and uh, that of course became one of the strongest storms of the season. Um, and don't forget you can track any storms that form or indeed any that are currently active on the website forcetoteam.com forward slash storm tracking is the main page for the storm tracking information that gives you an overview of the map um, and everything going on. They can go more in depth basin by basin to see the tracking maps and indeed any warnings that are in effect in more depth um, in, in more, in, uh, more clearly. Um, with the warning information, obviously that's fairly important at this stage in terms of EPIC with the Hurricane Watches in effect at the moment. Um, and um, that's where you'll probably get the most up-to-date information as well because in between videos that's also updated during the day um, when I'm around. Um, and we might have another video coming up around midday tomorrow for this video, uh, for this storm as well, for Eric. Um, don't forget, you can visit the social pages as well, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 and uh, you should find us fairly easily enough on there. And don't forget to show your support by uh, following, liking, subscribing, commenting and uh, anything else that I might have missed out. I'm sure I missed out one of them there, but uh, whatever. I'm, I'm sure you know what to do and which one you may want to do. Um, and don't forget to comment as well if you have any questions on this video. Um, on any of the storms, on the, any of the goings on out there in the tropics, just send off um, a comment or a private message and I'll get back to you in due course if it's relevant to storms or indeed anything else that uh, I may want to reply to. Um, and the next bulletin will be coming up, Tropical Weather Bulletin number 37. That'll be around midnight UTC, Monday morning, July the 8th, and there may be a storm update in between on Eric during the day on Sunday. <laughs>